Yo, it's your boy Naftastic, and welcome back to my Stay in Town FM 2014 series. Today, we're going to be kicking off our pre season. So, we're going through a couple of games, trying to sign some more players, and basically just get a handle of where this team's at, what I need to do to kick it on, and just see realistically what I could do this season. Um, obviously, just going through some of the new stories here. I'm going to get a couple of Man United posts in my news feed there because I'm a United fan, so <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> um, otherwise, just going through the team here. I mean, I've done this before, get my team sorted. Uh, Jorel, obviously, will be a centre-back. I think Satonian. Keep Neville. I'll compare these two. I like to compare the players. You see that overview? Yeah, Kasim goes there. He gets that starting place, but I'm going to address that centre back region because we're not deep enough at the moment, and I think the talent's a bit bare. Scott Taylor, and Hugh Johnson, obviously get my starting centre back, centre midfield role. Sorry, and the first preseason games are going to be against my under twenty ones, so I'm expecting a comfortable victory. But I want to see what my players can do. Who's my best strikers? Who's my best midfielders? Am I underrating anyone? Am I overrating anyone? Yeah, I'm one to ten favourite, so yeah, let's see how well I can do. I'm not gonna mess around with the opposition instructions just for the moment. Really because I wanna keep it plain and simple and see how good this team is. Without me having to cue them for certain things. As for the team talk, I'm gonna keep it simple, ask my assistant to sort of do the team talk. Go out there and show me what you want. Obviously, this place is up for grabs, so impress me. Perfect. And it does help having my assistant in the middle of the pot to sort of reinforce that. <laughs> um, let's get it's a bit slow at the moment. Let's get these settings changed. Get the junior highlights up. There we go. Between highlights all the way to the top. I'm not going to be dilly dallying. On Sanchez, there you go, goal straight away. <laughs> My left back Jordan Brown. I mean, he's got his place locked down, but you know, it's good to see that he's happy to score a goal off the corner. Good start. See if we can carry it on. Don't want any replays. Let's stop that. I think we can see it once is enough. I mean, if you guys want to see this in the three D, the three D pitch, let me know. At the moment, I'm doing it on TD pitch. I like seeing it this way because I can see the tactics. But if you want to see it on the 3D pitch, let me know and I can record it that way. Oh, it's a worrying, worrying amount of possession here. Not pressing high enough. Yeah, my under 21s are doing better than I'd expect them to. Oh, no. Oh, that's poor, it's poor giving the ball away. Better. Oh, nice touch. I can send you as he's he's my starting striker, but it's good to see him sort of link up. Joel Hugh Johnson, go on, I can send you. Go on, oh, great pass. Should have scored, but I like the build-up play. It's promising. It's promising. Yeah. I can send you showing his showing his worth. There you go. Ashley Lodge is that number seven for the under twenty ones. He's the one that's out of contract, but I don't think I'll really Oh, good effort there. I'm not even gonna try and attempt that that name. Jarrells. Go on. Felix is a good player for the under twenty ones, but I don't think he's got the attributes to make it in the first team. But I'm not gonna get rid of him just as a backup. I think he plays up top. Theophanus. <laughs> Akinsenya. Boom. Great, great stuff. Me Sanchez Ming. If you look at his stats, you think this guy is not a professional footballer. <laughs> well, so be professional, sorry. But, you know, he's he's bossing that rhyming. I know it's not against my under 21s, but it's better than what I expected. Really is. 
and that cross for a contender was just beautiful. So I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. If it continues, just get. Oh no, I really want to push on day three, four. And we're going wave after wave at the moment. I don't know. It's 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 promising for my first team, but it gets me a little bit worried about the caliber of my under twenty ones. I know I don't have many players there, but and obviously at this level, I can't really afford to invest heavily in that sort of department. But it's always nice to see under twenty ones do a bit better than you think they would. So. Let's see. Some of our players are getting a bit complacent, uninterested, understandable. In first game of the season, playing against the under twenty ones, you could uh, you could expect a bit of complacency at that sort of stage. Oh, it's good to see that we're still pressing on though for another. I think the strikers are doing quite well actually. And the the linking up, Theophanus. There you go. I'm gonna pronounce that name. <laughs> it's half time. There you go, Olo Akinsenya. He has been my main man. Actually, no, Sanchez Ming. Yep, I think that's fair. Got a little bit of passionate. I'm very happy with what I'm seeing. Everyone's delighted. Even extremely delighted. Good to see. All right, let's press on. No, sorry. Just overview. Make some subs now, I think. Cyril Okunze. I mean, he's a youngster with potential, so I'd like to see how he does, actually. I mean, he's fighting with Theophanes for that striker spot. So, if he can impress me enough, it's up for grabs. Um, next up, I'm going to try and bring on, I think, a substitute midfielder. Give my assistant a break. Bring on Troy Ferguson there. Let's go next. I think I'll just go through to the match now. Make some subs later. Obviously, I want to keep pushing on for more goals, so... See how we do. Um, Jack Turner's had really not much to do. The Sanchez meeting is still having a lot of joy down that right. Oh, let's give a bit. That was a concerning run. Should never have been able to run so freely down there. We got away with that, really. The Hugh Johnson. Have a bit of. Oh, dear. Jesus. Jesus, that was close. Defending looks like it's a bit susceptible to anything halfway resembling directness. Again, they're just running at my defenders and they're just not doing anything about it. Clapped it. We'll have to do a couple of defender sessions. Gone. Gone. Sanchez Ming is just constantly being a threat. Even trying to score goals now. It's pressing on. I think against this level of opponent, I think it'll do a bit tight marking. Let's get that pressed up. And we will go through and press to exploit those flanks. Yeah. And then click OK. Oh, great. Straight away, Sotonwa gets injured. Oh. Do I have another centre back on my bench? Yes. Neville, you're never coming on. Get on the pitch, mate. Alright. Let's see if these little adjustments, little tweaks, make a difference. Ooh. This. I'm not really getting enough chances, it appears. Oh, no. Cyril. Cyril's gone down with injury as well. That's such a shame. Such a shame. I really wanted to see him sort of. Make a name for himself here. Anyway, his his opportunity will come. A few more games yet. Let's get this up. See that that long ball. I mean, they get it over the top, head it down on my defenders. Oh, they dealt with it all right actually that time. 
But generally, so far, our defenders have been a bit. Let's get ahead to put their put a challenge in. And it, I mean, and when players are just running at my defenders, sort of back you off, back you off. When they really should be pushing, pressing, trying to make a challenge. The passing hasn't been great, but I mean, it's a conference south. I can't expect the world, especially not to the level of playing at the Premiership. Where I'm sure most people will get familiar to playing at football manager games. But look at this. So we just back you off, not really put a challenge in, and then just fouls them. Well, it's full time, 3 0. I'm quite happy with that. I would have liked more goals, but enough there to show me there's promise. I mean, I like I, I can tell you I like Sanchez Ming. Sanchez Ming just impressed me so much. I mean, I might I might have to fork out a bit of cash for him. I'll see how long I can keep him on a free. Otherwise, it could get pricey. It's a 3 0. Swansea beat Ruben Kazan. Not bad at all. Even if it is a friendly. It's a 3 0 there. Eh? Things did not get off to us. Uh, it basically looks like the media is a bit conflicted about what to write because it's me versus my under 21s. So, yeah, under 21's lost. Uh, those two stories are a bit confusing. Just didn't make sense as to why you needed both. To my training, let's get some changes going. First up, team confusion. Okay, well. Team confusion will do very high for next week. Yeah, let's get a bit of training going. Got a Louis. Good game first up. Let's do some specific training. Yeah. Okay. It's low screen. I mean, if I didn't fast it, quicken it up, sorry. It would take an absolute age. You'd just be watch. Oh, Dallas Moore wants to come on trial. Yep. Agree. Yeah. Let's accept it. The coach I had to fast quicken it up, and it's still taking a decent amount of time. I mean, I I really hope that's not in the main game because that could get annoying. Oh yeah, I can send this locked up for until the end of this season. I mean, I can send it doesn't believe stay in squad is strong enough to play at a level to his ability. Thanks. <laughs> that's all I can say to that. Real Madrid will put a bit of Antonio Valencia, that's, that's kind of them. Tom Cleverley as well for Tottenham. Oh, Andy Pearson, a bit of experience, let's see how... Ooh. I think I might as well. I mean, stats have been deceiving so far to me. I mean, Sanchez Ming just proves it. Just been lights out. Ashley Dodge had a good play first up. Let's hope it persists. That Pearson is on trial. Yep. Oh, Robin Shaw thinks he's too good for me, eh? Oh, enjoy King Glenn, mate. I'm not going to put up a bit better offer for you. There you go. See you later. Best of luck in your career. Hey, see. Some interesting transfer stories there. Steve Hume because the greed has a Brackle. What was that? Sorry, Barwell, sorry. Can't read today. That's a shame. He was decent. Valencia signing for Real Madrid. I still can't believe that. Pfft, mind that. Uh, cleverly for Spurs. Decent signing, but they don't need him. Oh, man. As for me, the I mean, the amount of rest is a concern. Sorry, and, and the amount of training. Because, obviously, these are the part-time or non college contracted players so it's hard to really impose my will physically oh that doesn't sound right <laughs> impose my training schedules for them especially in the fitness specific area just because they don't have as much time at their disposal especially if i want to try and get
get my tactics drilled into their heads first, which to me is more important because you can pass it around, you can knock it about, you can have a decent game without them noticing. Anyway, here's Lewis back and he's set to go and try with me as well. Yeah, if you sent them back coming in on trial, it gives me a good chance to have a look back, closer look at them. Here's David Stevens, a slightly more experienced one. It's 24, good strength, good heading. We get to see how many stats that I'm carrying most. Colin McDonald, another one that I like. It's 15, so I probably want to try and sign him. But we'll see what his stats are saying. Let's see, is it Lewis Burt there? Let's look at that, that's pretty decent. His tackling is 13, his heading is 12. It's a pretty decent guy. Look at that, more. Ooh. See, relatively, I don't. I'm not a fan. Same, same with and person. It's not bad, but compared to the sixteen-year-old Lewis Burke, you know, you can quite happy to let him go or terminate his trial. Yep. Thanks for coming in for the date. <laughs> <laughs> Steven's trial. Two weeks. Let's see if you last the two weeks. <laughs> I'm got instinct to learn. I'm saying you probably won't. <laughs> but you never know. Let's see. Go on, McDonald. His stats aren't jumping off the page, but I think he's still got more potential than, say, like, and he's. Uh, so David Stevens or Andy Pearson looks like a better option even though his marking is only 4 head, heading is 9 so it's not bad tackling is 6 I think there's potential there and it should be cheap so we'll offer him a youth contract you can add the depth that we need I'll try and side Lewis back as my like first option I'm guessing I'll do with her. Yep. Always trying to save a few quid. Oh, it's not getting happy. Yeah, okay. David Stevens, relatively, I don't think he's gonna stick around. Yep. The only really thing about David Stevens that is attractive is his physical stats. And. I don't know. Between him and Andy Pearson, I'd probably want. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I can't pick between them. I can't pick between them. We'll send Andy Pearson home. I would probably send David Stevens home. I'd, I want to sign Lewis Burke. Let's get him in. Oh, yes, yeah, so you think contracts are five quid a week? Well worth it. Especially in comparison, because any person David Stevens probably expect near a hundred pounds a week. Let's see what. Let's see, he's 300 quid a week. That's just ridiculous. Only reason I'm trying to make an offer to David Stevens is just for a bit of experience there. But his his wage demands are just ridiculous. Look at that. I'm not I'm not gonna be able to afford him. And he's not worth three hundred quid, so simple as that. Just keep him around for the trial. See if that changes over his time, but I doubt it. Oh. Go to our shortlist, take some of these players off my my shortlist there. Yep, you can go. Yep. Robin Shaw. 
You had George Pants, mate. Enjoy your time at King Glim. And this guy, I uh, just don't know what I initially saw in him. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. Let's see what's up next. Go to a search for some players. And then switch. Add some new targets in. So, what I'm really looking for if it's defending, I'm looking for. Heading, marking, tackling, positioning. Those are like the real attributes. If it's from midfield, so passing, dribbling, ball control, creativity. And those are the real areas I'm looking for specifically now because that's where I'm most bare at in terms of depth and talent. But we'll go through the skill team to watch. The guy with Bishop Stortford. Okay, fair enough. Zaha set for Newcastle loan deal, pretty realistic. Scott Taylor worried about match preparation. Didn't have a backup formation. Look at look how familiar they are with four four two at the moment. And you want to add another formation just to complete things. Fine, we'll add something there. But I want that four four two perfected. Let's add my generally favourite formation, which is that sort of four two three one. Good. Let's see. Add that tactic. No, 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 no. I want two wide pairs. Oh. Yeah. Smooth those wide pairs out. Yeah. So there's two genuine wing options. Yeah. And then let's switch back to our four four two as our starting tactic. Nope. How do I do this? Do I just click on it? Not particularly clear. <laughs> okay. Gotta try and figure this out now. Familiarity. That's not really what I'm looking for right now. How do I switch this back? Great. Let's do that. Nope. <laughs> oh, there you go. Let's click it. Done. Okay, so you just click those and it switches in between them. Right, see, so Grant McDonald's a man in demand, apparently. Because my transfer story has been leaked. You know, because in the Squirrel South, every election is heavily scrutinised. <laughs> Lewis Burks offered a contract. Colwyn Bay makes an offer for McDonald's. Okay, so 4 or 2 is my most familiar formation. 4 to 3 is up there. Let's see how we go on. Rooney signs a new deal. 5 year deal worth 49 million. Blimey. Nantwich in bid for Burke. Right. Don't like any of the options that my scouts advise there. Let's move on. I don't know how to do a better job, please, Curtis Carter. They've got our first proper friendly now. Playing Leighton Orient, who are, at the moment, flying high in League One. Let's see my odds for the Squirrels half is 40 to 1. So they think re relegation is a real possibility. And should be gearing up for a long, hard and ultimately disappointing season. How positive. Seriously, how positive. Never mind. I'll, I've got my own ambitions. Who cares what they think? Then he signs a new deal. He's in Burke's been offered more. Well, there's the men in demand. Alright, so Leighton or it. Here we go. Got a strong side. Got a strong side. I mean, I'm not expecting to get anywhere near to them because they are flying high in League 1, I believe. And, well... As they, the, the prediction says, we're just a lowly Skrill South team that should be really gearing up for relegation. So, I think, keep it close. Enjoy the money that comes in from this match. And just put a good show out for ourselves. I'm putting Cyril Okense up on our concern now. I think that 
it could be a good partnership and Cyril didn't really give a, get much of an opportunity to play last time because he came on, got injured, went off. So let's see how that partnership does. Lineups are loading. Yep, both of us are playing four four two. So that's okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. Leighton are one to four favorites. Yep. Leighton time. Yeah. As expected, Leighton Orient has enough to see us off. Go. Once again, I'm not gonna mess around the operational instructions because. Still trying to figure out our own team. Still trying to see what we can do well, what we can't do well, what needs to be focused upon, and so on. Plus, it's friendly, so I'd rather they play just their natural game and see what happens. Oh, Sanchez being there. I can't say what. Oh. Oh, I can't say. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> Cyril, I can't say. That's how you make a name for yourself, mate. That is how you make a name for yourself. Oh shit! Now, now it looks like they're back on the bounce. I've probably awoken the beast, but getting a goal first up against Leighton Orient, I'll take that. Even if we go and concede four or five now. Which I expect we probably will, but see so, uh, that. Look at that. They, oh my god, they're leaving us a dead. Whew, what a laugh. Defensively, we look weak and exposed, and they seem to have us pegged back, but haven't conceded yet, which is good. Let's try and add some. Opposition instructions and to help Let's try and get tight to them because they're roaming a bit free. Okay, I can turn. Oh, Jesus, I'm so close. I I think I would have lost my mind if we went 2 0 up. Oh, here we go. Just had that ill feeling that they're gonna come and attack. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Just knew it was coming. Fair play. Just too easy for them there. Depending on a set piece, though, I mean, that should not be a problem for us. I mean, we should. Oh, oh. We should. We should be conceding or even giving him that much time and space in the box. I mean, I said tight marking. There was nothing tight about that marking. I could say, oh, gee. So I can say, I can send you a partnership. Looks like it could be a winner. Doing a good job today. Oh, nice little passing it about. Oh. Kept that in there. Oh, Jesus. He's gone past us. Look at that. He's... Yeah, I like that. See, he's pressing a bit better now. Oh, that's good. Oh. Giving them less time on the ball, which is better. Still managing to get through us, but that's probably because of the greater quality technically so we can only do what we can they're pressing right away immediately onto the ball there you go great defending there Jarrell I can send you go on lad by right, Hugh Johnson look at this this is a great football go on yes Oh, great play, great play, I'm loving this. Oh. This guy down the left is just, oh, oof, let off there. The guy down the left is having a ton of just running past our players. I would say he'd try and do something different, but... We can't really make one person stand off. Even if we stand off, it looks like you'd get across in quite well. This is the thing. Look at that, they're still finding a way through. I mean, I'm giving them much less time on the ball than earlier, but... 
trying to restrict them. 1-1 one, one at half time. Brilliant. Much better than I thought we would be. I'm sure everyone watching in the stands probably feels the same. Yeah. No, I'm not going to say that. Mm, what should I say? What should I say? Yeah, keep going out there. Uh, perfect. There you go. Uh, only one person seems motivated then. Who is that? My assistant manager. Yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> St staying true to me. That's probably because he's injured or has taken off his right knock. So, sorry. <laughs> Troy Ferguson will have to come on. I don't want to risk any like longer term injuries. Especially as this is a game we're probably going to lose anyway. I'll go through. McDonald's has a decent game so far. Look at that. Oh no, he's been tapped. <laughs> Just as I say that, he gets dispossessed and they hit a shot against the bar. Yeah. I can feel the pressure is increasing now and pegged back to more and more highlights oh yeah great cross great finish I mean it's a great little run could we have done more about it defensively probably probably I mean there's definitely a focus needed about defensive positioning um you know marking needs to be improved so that I'm definitely going to have a few training sessions just focus on defending attacking what is oh the sh I mean that shot wasn't great but they're making some decent runs and putting some good moves together but look at this we're not at this quality yet oh my god what a abysmal hurt should have been a third there for Leighton Orient and they're just moving the ball around a lot better now trying to make some more subs Get some people some game time. Go on this back. See what you're made of. Put you up against. Put you up against. Oh, sorry. Up with 15 year old defender. Creating probably the league's youngest defensive partnership. It's a good save there, Jet Tenner. Oh, go on, Beedle. Yeah, go on. Oh, Jesus. There's only two people in the box. Oh, decent effort with the cross. Lowest rate beetles need to be subbed now. It's forty-eight percent. So we'll give Max Forthwell to go. Sorry, a go. Um, let's get Louis Thorfinnsson for Sir Lukanze as well. He's had a good game. Had a great little partnership with Akintanya there. Akatsunya hasn't had the best of games in terms of finishing, but his movement's still good. So, I mean, there's promise there. Ooh. Yeah, that, we'll have to do something with the defending. I know they're a better team, but there's still stuff, simple stuff that we want to improve upon. Oh, look at that. It's just... Every set piece that comes in, I'm nervous. Look at that. Look at that. They should have scored there. I'll make a few more subs. No, I don't have an option for you. Mm. So Lewis Farrell, let's give him some time off. Stefan Angavutu. Go on, lad. Let's see if he can improve our defence. So here's Leighton on the corner. Oof, yeah. Our defending for set pieces is just not good enough. Again, they caught us sleeping there. And we've conceded another goal. So, I mean, in the grand scheme, the scoreline isn't bad at all against Leighton Orient. But the goals we conceded, I mean, it leaves me wishing <laughs> that there was actually greater quality. Because set pieces we should be dealing with a little bit better. I'm not going to say we should never concede from a set piece because it's inevitable. It's it's a great chance. But 
just we shouldn't concede every goal from a set piece. So defending will have to be done, and I think we're going to injury time. No, that's it. Three one. So, like I said, not a bad result. Okay, I'll say that. But don't worry about the result. But we, I say we were just unlucky. We weren't. They, they, they are greater quality. They had more shots. They had more possession. But we put in a good show for ourselves. So nothing to be ashamed of. Next up, we have Brentford. So we'll have to like focus on the same things. Maybe put in greater fo- intensity on defending going to that match, and the aims will be exactly the same. Oh what? Madonna was accepted an offer for Colwyn Bay. Seriously, what do they have that I do not? They offer exactly the same money. Oh, what transfer deals expires January nineteen hundred? Oh, nice little glitch there. Fantastic. <laughs> and that's a Brentford scouting report. You can only imagine how long this loading screen takes. Yeah. So another school sauce team to watch Bromley this time. Oh, Thameslead made a butt off of a back. No. Barry Arkos. Barry Arkos. Got a ton of players whose contracts come up to expire at the end of the season. I'm not going to pull the trigger on any uh, new contracts just yet. Only because I want to see them perform a bit. But for the better players, I'm sure they'll come in the coming weeks. If not before January transfer window. Although I don't think that the transfer windows has that much of an impact on the Squirrel South. Anyway, um, it's coming up to match day for Brentford, so it's a good time to take a pause here and end the episode. And I'll see you all next time for that Brentford friendly and the rest of the preseason. See ya.